Good evening, villagers. We are back with Trini's Try Import Bear Season 3. I want my, my beer goggles of so, course. That, so I can see how it tastes. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like a drink, sir? I love a drink, sir. <laughs> right now I have the Bellhaven Twisted Thistle IP. Bold, bitter, bright ale. <laughs> Twisted Thistle IP. You know you can't say that after you had about six. What do you name of this? This is the Bellhaven Twisted Thistle IP. What is that, Dr. Seuss Mokot? So there is a little graphic on it with a guy that looked like Guile from Street Fighter with a beard. But there really a beard, it looked like you have a fish nut on the chin. Mm. Look at the look at the, the, the person. I don't mm. remember if to call this a person, it looked like a breadfruit. Where's this thing? Where's that? Like a little man with a uh, onion with a feed, isn't it? Kinda like me, boy. <laughs> yeah, it looked like um a emoticon on drugs with a mohawk. <laughs> what is this people? <laughs> Cheers. Cheers, buddy. Thanks, man. Cheers. Mm. I like the smell of it. Yeah. That's a strength that hits you one time. But. Yeah. Mm. Wow. I like this, you know. Twisted thistle could twist your thistle. Almost kind of grapefruity smell, actually. It's crisp. It really is a bold, bright, bitter ale. It has strength. It has no powers. Oh, this is the smoothest IPA that I've ever had. Scale of 1 to 10 is not as bitter as some IPAs that I've had before. Um, I would say it's between a 5 and a 6. No, no we don't have to go that far, right? <laughs> no, you know I don't delve into IPAs and things so, but this is tasty. IPAs can be bitter like your ex. But I like it. I like it. I like it. It's just in, folks. You like something other than stag. My accent's so bitter. But it's, this, it's is probably, bitter. this is probably like your accent. It's probably it? like my accent. Yeah, it's smooth. <laughs> Which I don't understand the difficulty in it. I don't know bitter accents. So oh. At least I don't think so. Point that a little bit. Comment below and tell us. No, no, no. Yeah, next thing. Hey, bitter. <laughs> And it's not we, it's we heavy. Like we. It's, just, it's a bit heavy. Hi guys, Big Joe Money here. And it's been reported that this Bellhaven ale tastes just like Christmas cake in a bottle. I am Questions Quincy. I know. Mm -hmm. Cheers, brother. Cheers. Mm. And then we heavy, not so heavy. I'm a little scared, but let me drink it now. Rich Scottish ale, 7.4% mm -hmm. alcohol. Mm -hmm. I demand them. Mm -hmm. Tell me about this, it's like 90 pounds. Eh? Mm. No, it, it, I find it light, if anything else. I feel I like this one more. It's really nice too. It's really nice. We stout it. We stout it. Um, it has a little body on it, but they're right. It's it's weed. Yeah, weed. But it's weed. It, it, it's weed, it's weed. Again, the surprising things. I will drink this one. This tastes like somebody grandmother, somebody Trini grandmother is brewing this way. But it's nicer than the other one though. The other one has like a Bella's in a bottle. <laughs> I like this. I can drink this. Alright. I don't know. I don't even know if I love this way. But this is nice. It is. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Alright, alright. With notes of dried fruit and candy peel. Alright, alright. I, I can see where they're coming from with that. No, I love this bit. I love it. It's like Christmas cake in a glass. Oh, the mash up on that line. Shit, it really tastes like Christmas cake. Christmas cake in a bottle, folks. Whoever write this thing needs some kind of cookie or a book about cookies and a them glass of juice or no, something. No, no, no. You need to give them a tour through the cookie factory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For and that. And let them take what they want. Nah, because for real, you know. Cheers, folks. So they win. Yeah, they sum it up there, you know. Bellhaven, Scottish ale, rich, nutty, <laughs> smooth, <laughs> smooth, smooth as eggs. I was really excited. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And then they talk about nutty and things. <laughs> so we haven't, and it's on the bottle. This is rich, smooth, rich, nutty and smooth. 
It's a bit nutty. Yeah, yeah, you can't, you Let's know. see how it's smelling. It's smell better now. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, this. Nice, you know. Oh. You know what? It's nice. You know what? I think I think I got it. It needed to warm up. It was too cold when I had it. Really? Yeah. You know Chum some bears? smell very different to what it tastes like yeah. this bear smells exactly like what, what it tastes, tastes like. like i can't i can't i can't get over the aroma it real yeah it's like mm. Mm. yeah oh the aftertaste to, to of this to, is so nice it's like a, to try to get a difference it's like a cookie mm. it's crispy it's clean it's a clean flavor yeah i think this is going to be popular with girls too it's not sweet. It's really not. Or oh, maybe popular with Cristiano. Yeah, this fella, this fella nice. It is probably of the three I find is the most interesting flavor. I trying to taste the nuts though. I ain't tasting nuts yet. Or they soak the nuts before good. after. I understand when they say biscuit. When they say biscuit, I, I'll be in straight up. I remember what they were called biscuit. I started thinking quicks now. Yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. I'm trying to say, rich, nutty, and smooth. You, I ain't taste you, no nuts yet. You know, yet. Who, you know who can tell you when he nuts so? Who is that? Who <laughs> can tell you how the nuts go taste? When it's so, come when it didn't so. Chris, it was nutty. nutty. It's so. <laughs> it's so. <laughs> salt and fresh. <laughs> it is only deal with salt. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers! Mm. Cheers to salt nuts! <laughs>